Hello everybody, Derek here, and this is another episode of Fun with Linux. So in this video we're going to be talking a little bit about how you can take an SD card and split your Linux installation in two. So in this video we're going to be focusing on Ubuntu 17.04 just because it's the latest version even though it's not out yet fully. But it's also just the easiest to explain the methodology here. You won't have to use a terminal to you won't have to use a terminal to mount things manually and just it goes a long way. So let's get started. So the way this works is you want to go through the regular installation, except you want to select a couple different options. So I'm doing this in the live environment just for the sake of recording. You start off by opening the installation tool, the Ubiquity installer. So this is the part where the Ubuntu installer asks your language and all of that stuff. Just select the language and continue on to the next screen. I'm sure most of you who have used Ubuntu in the past know this. All right, so now we come to the critical page. So this page is the installation selection menu. You'll notice that there are a couple of options. The first one is erase disk. The second one is encrypt and then use LVM. We want to ignore all of these because all of these don't matter because we're going to do a custom installation. A custom installation lets us get more control and decide exactly where the file systems are going to be. So just check the something else button and move on to the next page. So the something else page has its own partition manager. It shows all of the devices, all of the block devices on the drive, including free space. So depending on what you select, so everything is listed here. So we need to suss out exactly which one is the drive we're installing to and which one is the SD card that we want to use as the home folder. So in my case, I have dev MMC BLK0, and that's the internal hard drive. It's the 32 gigabyte storage installation, and right now it has Arch rolling on it. So at this point, we need to take note of the partition where we want to install the root file system to and just select the change button. Now the change button is going to have a ton of different options. By default, it says do not use this partition, but we're going to need to change that. And so what you should change it to is your file system of choice. Now for me, I prefer to use the XFS file system. So I'm gonna scroll up and I'm gonna select XFS. Now go through the mount point and just select the slash and that's the root. So here's where we get to the SD card part. So find the block device that tells you what your SD card is. In my case, it is dev MMC BLK 1P1, letting us know that this is partition one and this is the same device. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to the change menu and I'm going to select it. Now I already have stuff on this home folder. I have important things on it and I need to make sure that the important stuff stays on it and doesn't get formatted. But I'm going to select my file system of choice and then for the mount point I'm going to select home and then the OK button. So with those two options selected you can just click the install button and the Ubuntu installation tool will go through like normal. So that was just a small little guide on how to get the most out of your laptop on Linux, you know, how to take the SD card and use it as an expandable storage. I did it because I had limited storage on my laptop and doing this allows me to have a little bit more space. Keep in mind, I only used a 32 gigabyte, but if you have the money to get a 128 or even bigger, like they're making terabyte ones now, do it because it'll be worth it in the end. So if you like this video, guys, uh, please click the like button and give me a like. It really helps me out. If you like this video, please click the subscribe button and you'll be notified of my uploads in the end. So if you like this video, guys, uh, please click the like button and give me a like. It really helps me out. If you like this video, please click the subscribe button and you'll be notified of my uploads. 